Hey guys, it's Creamy Pink DIYs and today we are recreating my oldest and most popular video by views. Um, so we are making a claw machine today and first you need to cut a square out or rectangle and make sure you have some sort of cardboard box or make your own out of um square pieces of cardboard and you can use scissors or an exacto knife i used an exacto knife because it's easier to get precise precise cuts my english is bad okay and i just use the scissors to trim off the excess on the inside so that everything was smooth and I used the X-Acto knife. First, I actually sketched out a door for my prizes. And then I started to jab it <laughs> with my X-Acto knife to cut it. And I trimmed off some excess cardboard box. And then at my, my tripod fell. Um, and then I just cut the door out. And then I made a line where it would fold. I actually made the flap bigger because I planned on making the prizes slightly bigger. So that's that. And then what you want to do is sketch two lines on the side of each box. I actually like stabbed my pencil into the box so that I could get better cuts. This is where you can put your stick. Oh, and I forgot to mention this before, but what you will need in this video is some sort of rod or stick. I used a plastic straw in my very first video. Scissors, uh, cardboard, paper, which is optional if you want to decorate it, pipe cleaner or wire for the claw, string, and something to make your prizes with and also tape and of course a pencil but some people don't use pencils so yeah and then i next you need to cut out a rectangle the size of your box oh my tripod um the size of your box so that you can put it inside as the base for where your prizes will go that way the person can't just shake it and stuff also for the materials which is this is optional you can take plastic i actually did take plastic in my first video and put it as like a screen Oh, and make sure this fits, the piece of paper fits inside the box smoothly, or at least slightly, so that you can just slip it in. Anyways, um, I decided not to make the actual window part, because the thing with these um, claw machines is that they don't work perfectly because well it's made out of paper and it doesn't really have any mechanics it's just possibly hooking string onto um the claw and then putting it in the prize slot it doesn't work very well it's more for decoration or like a family game or maybe a present for someone but i just decided to make it avatar themed since i've been watching the series and what you want to do is cut a corner out of that rectangle paper or cardstock and then tape it into place you can also use hot glue if you would like um i decided to use tape since i'm going to use tape later anyway
my tripod slash phone fell again hmm <laughs> so unstable okay and then you want to take some more cardstock or paper cardstock is better though and cut out a strip let me get that um cut out a strip fold it in half like so and then after that take your square that or corner that you took cut out of the rectangle in the box before and use that to match well ma match the sides then you want to take tape or hot glue and stick it inside like a barrier so that the person can't just shake it and all the prizes come falling Then what you want to do is take some string and your stick, I cut mine, um, and then cut the string and knot it on to the stick. Uh, you could make it long, I decided to make mine short this time. If you want the vending machine, to, I mean <laughs> claw machine to actually work better, then I recommend using longer string. But since I wanted this to be more of a decoration rather than an actual working machine, I decided to shorten the string to make it more clean. Then I attempted to sand the stick with cardboard, which doesn't make sense, but I have nothing else to smooth it with since I don't have sandpaper. So, yeah. And take your wire or pipe cleaner of choice and cut it so that there's two pieces and then um, stick them together, not stick them, but wire them together, I guess, so that it looks like a claw. You can make it only have two sides, like a pincher type thing. I don't know how to describe it. Or you could have it have like four um, pinch your things like <laughs> a claws what am i saying okay and then i drew the avatar um element symbols onto pieces of paper and then i took four of them and made them into prizes i'm probably going to take the other four and make them into stickers or something and then i put the prizes inside and you can make anything into a prize just add some sort of hoop to it so that the claw can possibly hook on to the string or hoop and then i kind of just wiggled it around i almost got the prize out but um this is flimsy so yeah you can decorate the box however you want my box was actually kind of sleek so that so my acrylic paint wouldn't um apply onto it so i decided to just take the scrap pieces of uh index cards or cardstock and then draw on them and write the prizes and such
For the other side, again, I taped on a piece of paper and smoothed out the tape, of course. And then after that, I drew rules. They're not exactly rules, just, just, well, the first one is a rule. <laughs> no steaming, please. But it's a piece of paper and string, so I guess they can steal. I don't know. No one's going to use this anyway. So then I just wrote a bunch of avatar-like things onto the blue sheet. Then I went to grab my green sharpie to write prizes, but then I messed up, obviously. And then, so then I took a green piece of index card and then I trimmed it to fit the size of my flap, or slightly overhang. And then I wrote prizes on there, and it was much easier to write since it's not in a box. And I added some squiggles since Avatar has a lot of squiggles and waves, and, like for the symbols and such. So I decided to do that. And I just taped it on there. And then, um, four more. Then after that I took some yellow paper and then wrote avatar on it and outlined it and I think it turned out pretty great. Um, I actually searched online everything that I drew besides the words and stuff obviously and this little ending. Um, I messed up so I actually put um, sticker paper on top. So that's why there's that border, and I just drew a small smiley face. I think it looks cute. For the back, I was actually thinking of leaving it blank, but then I decided to grab some of the um, avatar element symbols and stick it to the back. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, like always. And make sure to subscribe if you want more content. And you can always change your mind, of course. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week.